Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an image to trigger a Divi overlay. And so if you have not watched the getting started tutorial for Divi overlays yet, then I highly recommend starting with that because that tutorial is going to show you how to set up a Divi overlay, how to create it, as well as set up a text uh, trigger. And so that's um, the best video to, to start with because it, it's really foundational and kind of walks you through uh, the beginning stages of using Divi overlays. And so if you've already watched that, then we're going to continue and uh, show you how to use an image to trigger an overlay. And so uh, I'm going to be following this tutorial here. And so uh, just to tell you how I got to this page, you can click the, get, um, the product documentation link in the footer of the Divi Life website or product docs uh, which is from the header um, and then uh, click on Divi overlays and then find the one titled use an image to trigger a Divi overlay and so uh, there's really I mean the, with Divi there's lots of ways to add images to, to pages um, but for this tutorial I'm gonna walk you through two of the, the different methods uh, of uh, adding images to the Divi Builder and then show you how to use those methods to uh, trigger a uh, Divi overlay. So for example, um, I'm gonna show you how to use an image that's within a text editor. So whether that's a text module or it's the text editor in a call to action module or the text editor within a slider module, um, you can use any of, of, of those modules. As long as it has a text editor, you can use it to add an image and then I'm gonna show you how to trigger it uh, from within. And so the, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is add the image to the page. So I'm gonna to go to my sample website here. Scroll down here, I'm gonna add the image right here. So I'm gonna first add a text module. And again, it doesn't have to be a text module. It can be any module that has that WordPress WYSIWYG text editor within. But for me, I'm just gonna do text. And I'm gonna to go to add media. I'm just gonna add one of these sample images here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the text tab so we can actually see the HTML. So as the article states, we wanna find the image in the HTML. It's easy because it's a we just created a new module. There's nothing else in it. If you have a lot of text and then, and then an image, it might be a little bit harder, uh, but this is what it looks like. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it into a link with an ID, and that's what's gonna trigger the overlay. And so you can copy and paste this directly from the tutorial here. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it at the beginning, right before the image tag. Then I'm gonna go and grab the closing link tag. So this is you know HTML 101, how to make an image linkable. You just add um, anchor link, or I'm sorry, anchor tags around it. Um, but for us, we're not linking to an outside page. We are um, linking to uh, we're triggering the Divi overlay. And just like the text, uh, uh, using a text link to trigger, all we need is that ID. And so um, obviously this is the sample ID. So I need to go and grab the ID for the overlay I wanna trigger. And so to do that, you go to the overlay edit screen and where it says manual triggers or also known as click triggers, you can find that ID right there. Copy and paste that go back to this tab here. I'm gonna replace that 940 with the ID of my unique Divi overlay. And that is it. I can go ahead and click save. Now I'm gonna update the page. Now I'm gonna go back over to the page, refresh it, scroll down. This is the image that I added and you can see when I click on it, it triggers the Divi overlay. And so again, if you haven't watched the getting started tutorial on how I created this, using the sample layout to get this modal light box pop-up looking layout, uh, go ahead and watch the getting started tutorial because it's gonna show you how to create what you see right here. And so, yeah, that's how you set up a image trigger when your uh, image is in a text editor. So now the next step I'm gonna show you is how to use it when you're uh, when it's an image module. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go back here. So the first step is to add your image module. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this. 
and instead of adding a text editor I'm just gonna do the same exact thing but with an image module instead so let's figure out there's the image module go ahead and upload the image I'm just gonna use a different image just so you can see that it's different now before you hit save and, and close this window here we're gonna add the CSS ID right here so I'm gonna go back over here and grab it copy that go back here paste it in there click save and I'll go ahead and update the page over here let's refresh this got our new image there and there it is now you notice that um, my mouse isn't changing to the pointer now a pointer is what you can see here when I hover over the link the pointer is what kind of tells the user that hey you can click on that and so you'll notice that it still triggers but there's no it doesn't change to the pointer and so it doesn't give that user that extra bit of information for them to know that what they're hovering over is clickable and so to do that we're gonna go over here find the image module and we're gonna go ahead and add a link URL so in order for Divi to recognize that this is a link we have to add something here and if you just put a pound sign then it'll automatically scroll to the top um, and so we just want to add open overlay you can have it say whatever you'd like open overlay is nice and simple you can just have it say open for make it even simpler click save click update wait for the page to finish refresh now you can see I have that pointer so now it tells the user that it's something that they can click on so that is it that is how you trigger a Divi overlay with an image whether that's an image module or an image within a text editor within an, one of the other various uh, modules in Divi and so uh, yeah that's all we're going to be covering in this tutorial take a look at the additional uh, documentation tutorials on Divi overlays on how to set up different click triggers as well as different automatic triggers and uh, if you have any questions whatsoever and you need a little bit of help uh, don't hesitate to navigate over to the the support page on divilife.com and we will be happy to help you out all right thanks and we'll see you in the next tutorial